Hello students, welcome back to this session. So in this session we are going to cover a poem which is How Doth the Little Busy Bee. Okay, this is 2.4 in your chapter, in your textbook. Now, how doth the little busy bee? Now, basically, doth is does. How does the little busy bee? Now over here, bee is given a word which is called busy. So today we are going to learn about the bee, the honey bee, okay, which has been given the name as busy, okay. Uska adjective kya use kiya hai, usko kaise describe kiya hai, busy karke, okay. Now why busy, why do you think busy word is used to describe the bee? Because the bee keeps working harder and harder, right, it will never stop. It never feels lazy. This is the thing about the bee. And that is why over here they have said the word, they have used the word busy. Because they are saying that the bee is someone who never rests, who never feels lazy, who is always working to make his house, to make honeycomb. That is why. Okay. Now let us see what the poem has to tell us. How taught the little busy bee? It is written by Isaac Watts. Now let us see. How doth the little busy bee improve it each shining hour and gather honey all the day from every opening flower? How skillfully she builds her cell. How neatly she spreads her wax and labors hard to coat it well with the sweet food she makes okay now let us see the first paragraph how doth the little busy bee so they are telling that how does the little busy bee that how busy she is how busy she is improves each shining hour now what do you mean by improve each shining hour each shining hour is to use the time in a proper way Never wasting any time is called improving. Like improve each shining hour is to never waste your time. She always utilizes the bee, always utilize, utilizes the time whichever they have. So that is why they had seven that they keeps improving each shining hour. And gather honey all the day from every opening flower. That what does they what does the work they do? Why are they so busy? In what work are they busy? So they are busy to gather honey all the day, right? We know that a honey honey bee makes honeycomb. How? By sucking the the honey from the flower the sugar which we say they suck them nectar hum log ne padha hai right and for that is how they make honeycomb so that is what she is saying that that improves each shining hour that how they utilizes the each hour how are they utilizing in what work they are gathering honey all the day from every opening flower what do you mean by opening flower opening is the one which is the bloom flower which is to is to bloom जो खुला फ्लावर है जो ब्लूम ब्लूम मतलब कैसा खुला हुआ जो फ्लावर है जिससे हनी को हनी सक कर सके वैसा हाउ स्किलफुली शी बिल्ड हर सेल हाउ नीट शी स्प्रेड्स हर वैक्स नाउ सी बाजू में यू कैन सी द डायग्राम इन विच दे हैव गिवन हेक्सागॉन्स हेक्सागोन आर बेसिकली द वन विच हैव सिक्स साइड्स राइट नाउ वट डू यू सी इन दिस सी अ फ्यू स्मॉल स्ट्रक्चर इज बीन गिवन हाउ नीटली इट इज अरेंज सो दैट इज वट शी इज टेलिंग दैट हाउ नीटली दे हैव अरेंज हाउ स्किलफुली शी बिल्ड्स हर सेल दैट अ हनी कोम शी बिल्ड्स हर सेल हाउ स्किलफुली हर एक पैटर्न में हर एक सेल में देर इज सिक्स स्ट्रक्चर्स ऐसा नहीं कि किसी में फाइव है या किसी में फोर है एवरी सेल हैज सिक्स स्ट्रक्चर्स सिक्स लाइन सिक्स साइड्स इन इट सो दैट इज वॉट देर सेंग दैट हाउ ऑर्गेनाइज शी इज एंड हाउ स्किलफुली शी बिल्ड हर सेल ओके whenever even i also see whenever you have seen a honeycomb you will see first first of all it's an upside down structure right upar se wo log niche niche karke aise banate plus there are six sides of hexagon and how organized it is that whenever you if ever you have seen honeycomb matlab jo honeycomb hum bolte na madhumakhi ka chhatta agar usko jab nikal dete completely so whenever you will see that dry ones you will see that how organized and how perfect it is so that is how you can 
एक अंदाज़ा आप लोग लगा सकते हो दैट हाउ मच टाइम इट वुड हैव बीन टेकन फॉर दैट हनी बी टू मेक दैट प्रॉपर हनी कोम सो दैट्स वॉट दे आर सींग दैट हाउ स्किलफुली शी बिल्ड अर सेल एंड हाउ नीट शी स्प्रेड अ वैक्स ना वट डू मीन बाई स्प्रेडिंग हर वैक्स वैक्स इज बेसिकली द वन विच इज अप्लाइड ऑन दैट पेंटागॉन जस्ट टू प्रोटेक्ट द हनी कोम सो दैट इज वॉट दे आर सींग दैट हाउ नीटली शी स्प्रेड अ वैक्स दैट हाउ नीटली शी स्प्रेड हर वैक्स सो दैट शी कैन प्रोटेक्ट द कोम and labors hard to store it well okay first of all she is building it okay after building it she is covering it after covering and labors hard to store it well labors hard to store it well means that uske baad bhi unko dekhna padta hai that where we can store this where we can hide this so that no one can attack this so how lab and labors hard they they have to think they have to work hard that where should we keep this so that no one attacks it and plus after making a spot fix like ek spot agar fix kar diya to uske baad what they have to see that how well they can store it so that's what they are saying that first how skillfully she builds the cell and then how neatly she spreads her wax and labors hard to store it well with the sweet food she makes now what is that sweet food mix which she makes so finally what is she making she is making an honey out of it so that's what they are saying okay so sweet food she makes what is that sweet food the sweet food is the honey which she makes out of that honey comb so that's what yeah happy basically the poem is all about the hard work of the bee that how busy she is whenever you'll see ab jab bhi uh, you know you whenever you'll see a honey bee outside you or near you you will listen that humming sound hmm aisa aawaz aata hai na that you will listen that humming sound of the bee which means that she never rest and she always keeps on working okay so this was a beautiful short poem written by isaac watts which further tells us that how beautifully how hard working a bee is how hardly ha matlab kitna kabhi bhi aalas nahi batati waise that aka time wo mehnat karti rehti hai why and just to make their home so first they build their home and then they cover it up with the wax so that no one destroys it and then they had to further see that where to store all of these things so that no one can destroy it and further they make a beautiful honey out of it okay so this was a sweet small poem by isaac watts now the next one which you see is called a parody now what do you mean by a parody parody is basically an imitation of the style of a particular writer or an artist theek hai jab hum imitate karte na kisko na what do you mean by imitate imitate is to काइंड ऑफ यू कैन से कॉपी बट नॉट कम्प्लीटली कॉपी मतलब आप एक उनका अंदाज़ा लगा के आप उनके जैसा कॉपी करते हो वैसा सो वैन यू इमिटेट सम वन इट इज़ बेसिकली इन टर्म्स ऑफ अ राइटर और एन आर्टिस्ट सो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज पैरडी ओके सो द फॉर द अब ऑफ पोएम विच वी सॉ वॉज रिटन बाय आइसैक वॉट्स ओके सो अ पैरडी इज रिटन बाय लुइस कैरल ना वॉट इज लुइस कैरल डूइंग वो क्या कर रहे हैं वो बेसिकली जो पैरे वो ऊपर वाला पोएम है ना उसका पैरडी किया है उसका कॉपी किया है ओके ना कॉपी इन वॉट सेंस इमिटेशन इज बेसिकली यूज फॉर क्रिएटिंग अ यूमर सो दैट वन कैन यू नो रीड इट एंड देन एक हंसी मजाक का पात्र बोलते हैं ना जस्ट फॉर फन और जस्ट फॉर यूमर इट इज रिटन सो लेट एस सी वॉट लुइस कैरल हैज रिटन आउट ऑफ इट हाउ डॉट द लिटिल क्रॉक डाइल इम्प्रूव इज शाइनिंग टेल एंड पोज द वॉटर ऑफ द नाइल ऑन एवरी कोल्ड इन स्केल हाउ चेयरफुली ही सीम्स टू ग्रीन हाउ नीटली स्प्रेड हिज क्लॉस and welcomes little fishes in with gently smiling jaws okay now what do you mean by it that how dot the little crocodile how dot the little crocodile improve his shining tail now see if you see the structure or if you see the paragraph wo same upar wale poem ke jaisa copy kiya hai how dot the little busy bee जस्ट यहाँ पे क्या किया है पैरेटी में हमने ऊपर वाले में वट डिड वी सॉ अ बी वॉज कंपेयर ओके एवरी थिंग वॉज रिटर्न अबाउट द बी इन दिस पोएम एवरी थिंग इज रिटर्न अबाउट द क्रॉकोटाइल ऊपर वी सॉ द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ अ बी वी सॉ द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ क्रॉकोटाइल ऊपर देवा 
एडवांटेजेस होते हैं वो डिस्क्रिप्शन अबाउट हाउ हार्ड वर्किंग हाउ इंस्पायरिंग द बी वॉज ओवर हेयर विल सी दैट दे आर सेंग दैट हाउ लेजी एंड हाउ स्मार्ट नॉट स्मार्ट बट हाउ लेजी इज द क्रॉकोटाइल एंड हाउ स्मार्टली ही फूल्स एवरी वन ही फूल्स ऑल द फिशेस इन द पॉन्ट दैट इज वट दे आर गिवन हेयर दैट हाउ डॉट द लिटिल क्रॉकोटाइल इम्प्रूव इज शाइनिंग टेल that how does the little crocodile improves his shining tail that already the tail of crocodile is shining okay yeah pe i'll show you a picture yeah where and you can see that you know they have this rough and tough structure and the body type is a little hard or little firm so they have this shining tail that it shines jab uske upar pani girta hai na crocodile ke skin pe so it shines so that is what they are saying that already the tail is shining plus he is shining at more and pours the water of the nile on every golden scale now what is the crocodile busy doing waha pe upar hum log ne dekha that the bee was completely busy in making her home and making the honeycomb protecting it okay yaha pe what is crocodile doing he is just lazy and he's just into the nile now what do you mean by nile nile is a river okay so nile is a river and this crocodile is inside the nile river and what he is busy doing he is and pours the water of the nile on every golden scale now golden is the color which is given over here to the body of crocodile okay and scale what do you mean by scale scale is basically the line pattern of the crocodile jo line jaisa structure hota hai i'll show you the picture dekho yahan pe ye jo structure hai na the line pattern of the crocodile is known as scale so what is crocodile busy doing improves his shining tail and pours the water of the nile on every golden scale ke wo kya kaam mein busy hai wo nile river mein hai and nile river ka jo pani hai wo khud ke skin pe खुद के बॉडी पे फेंकने फेंक रहा है उसमें वो बिजी है समझा दैट द क्रॉकोडाइल इज कम्प्लीटली लेजी एंड ही इज जस्ट थ्रोइंग द वाटर ऑफ द नाइल रिवर ऑन टू हिज बॉडी ऑन टू हिज गोल्डन स्केल अंडरस्टूड द फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ नाउ लेट एस सी फर्दर हाउ चेयरफुली ही सेम्स टू ग्रीन ओके हाउ चेयरफुली ही सेम्स टू ग्रीन नाउ वट यू मीन बाई ग्रीन ग्रीन इज स्माइल ब्रॉडली एक होता है स्माइल जो हम हल्का सा करते हैं और एक होता है स्माइल ब्रॉडली मतलब क्या पूरे दांत बताना वैसा सो हाउ चेयरफुली ही सेम्स टू ग्रीन दैट हाउ चेयरफुली हाउ हैप्पीली एकदम बोला फेस बना के क्रोकोडाइल क्या करता है स्माइल करता है हाउ नीटली स्प्रेड्स हिज क्लॉज वट डू यू मीन बाई क्लॉज सी आई हैव गिवन द पिक्चर ओवर हेयर ओके क्लॉज इज दिस कर्व्ड पॉइंटेड नेल्स द नेल्स विच क्रॉकोडाइल हैव दे आर कॉल्ड एज क्लॉज सो वॉट ही इज बिजी डूइंग दैट ही इज जिस स्माइलिंग ओके ही स्माइलिंग चेयरफुली एकदम हैप्पीली एंड देन स्प्रेडिंग हिज क्लॉज ओके ही स्प्रेडिंग हिज नेल्स ही स्प्रेडिंग हिज क्लॉस एंड वेलकम्स लिटिल फिशेज इन वाई ही स्माइलिंग वाई ही स्प्रेडिंग हिज क्लॉस वाई टू वेलकम द लिटिल फिशेज इन जो रिवर्स में छोटी छोटी फिशेज हैं उनको वो वेलकम कर रहा है क्यों वेलकम कर रहा है विथ जेंटली स्माइलिंग जॉस स्माइलिंग स्माइलिंग इज वही स्माइलिंग जॉस मतलब बेसिकली क्या है why he is doing all of this why is you know uh, welcoming the fishes so that he can eat them okay so yaha pe kya hai yaha pe crocodile ka bura hai ya fir kaisa smart hai kaisa luchha hai aisa bol sakte what are they saying that crocodile is smart enough first he'll smile he'll cheerfully smile he will welcome you all and once you have come once all the fishes have come there he would eat them okay so this is called as a parody that ye completely uh, copied tha ऊपर वाले में बट द थिंग वॉज ऊपर वाले पोयम में वी सॉ ऑल द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ अ बी दैट हाउ हार्ड वर्किंग शी वॉज एंड ऑल ऑफ अ गुड पॉइंट्स वॉज सेट एंड यहाँ पे दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट क्रॉकोडाइल हु इज बिजी ईटिंग ऑल ऑफ द फिशेस ओके सो इज नॉट डूइंग समथिंग गुड और इज नॉट डूइंग समथिंग ग्रेट इज जस्ट बिजी इन ईटिंग ऑल ऑफ द फिशेस 
okay i hope you have understood this boy now let us come to the workshop part okay okay so now let us come to the workshop part wherein you will see the first question how skillfully the it is like a filling the blanks how skillfully the little b dash herself fill in the blanks so how skillfully the little b builds herself okay now the third one is write the meaning of the following words dot what do you mean by dot the very first thing i said the dot is does opening opening in the book okay i said opening flower is the blooming flower now the next one what is called as cell cell is we have seen this in the b wala point cell is the beehive is called as cell ओके बी हाइव जो मधुमक्खी का छत्ता होता है उसका जो एक पोर्शन होता है द स्मॉल पोर्शन आउट ऑफ इट इज नोन एज द सेल विच इज अ बी हाइव द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वट डज द बी स्टैंड फॉर सो वी नो द बी स्टैंड फॉर एफर्ट्स एंड हार्ड वर्क राइट वी सॉ हाउ हार्ड वर्क शी हाउ हार्ड वर्किंग शी वॉज हाउ एफर्ट्स शी मेड टू बिल्ड हर सेल टू बिल्ड हर नेस्ट basically to build her comb madhumakhi ka chhat why does the bee work hours after hours why was she working hard the bee works hour after hour to gather honey and to build a honey comb understood is the bee a gentle creature now they are asking us is a bee a gentle creature yes the bee is a gentle creature now let us see the next one what does the crocodile stand for like is it is from the parody poem how does what does the crocodile stand for so the crocodile stands for mischief and idleness that how lazy he was and how mischievous he was okay next why does the crocodile work the crocodile works to attract fish into his mouth and satisfy his hunger right we saw he was welcoming all of the fishes why just to and just to make them oh, comfortable once they are comfortable once they'll come closer to him he will eat all of them is the crocodile gentle what do you think No the crocodile is not gentle he deceives the fish with a gentle smile and then eat them as a target what was his target to eat all of the fish now the next one is what do you like better the original poem or the parody okay and they are asking why so you have to write it is like a personal response question you have to write your own response okay i'm just giving my idea you can write your own please try not to copy this and try writing things of your own your opinion okay what do you like better the original one or the parody i like the original poem i'm giving my explanation why because it highlights the value of the hard work it is highlighting the value of hard work on the other hand the parody mocks it by underlining the idea of mischief and idleness right it does not intend to give any moral value any moral lesson however the best thing about the parody is that it makes us think and teach what it is making us think and teach us to differentiate between right and wrong thus i think it is important to read both the poem especially one after the other okay so once you read the upar wala poem the b wala poem you'll understand that how hard working the b is and how mischief the crocodile is okay now here there is a discrimination between original and parody so the first one is choice of subject okay so the choice of subject is very much clear in the original one it is a little b and in the parody it is a crocodile number of lines and stanzas it's the same in both of them eight line and two stanzas in the original one and eight line and two stanzas in the parody one 
same or similar construction now what do you see which one is the same or similar construction so the first one is choice of words right example how little improve spreads shining etc all of the words are similar and that is how they are both are same now the second one is description ye to words ka baat ho gaya ki kaun se kaun se words same hai dono mein now we'll see what is the description which is same so the description is over here in original it is given as little busy bee skillfully builds her cell etc and in the description one what is the similar quality shining tail golden scale etc ओके नाउ एक्सक्लेमेटरी सेंटेंस स्ट्रक्चर के एक्सक्लेमेटरी फॉर्म दिया है सरप्राइज वाला फॉर्म यहाँ पे भी वही है एग्जाम्पल हाउ नीट ही स्प्रेड्स हर वैक्स एंड हाउ नीट्सली ही स्प्रेड्स हिज क्लॉस सो दिस इज लाइक एग्जामेटरी एक्सक्लेमेटरी सेंटेंस स्ट्रक्चर इज सेम इन बोथ ऑफ दैम ओके एंड द टोन ऑफ द पोएम यहाँ पे द फर्स्ट वन इज मोरलिस्टिक एंड virtues that we need we get to know so much of moral values and the second one is sarcastic sarcastic matlab kaisa taunt wala ke wo taunt maar rahe ke kaisa how crocodile is a mischievous and mocking mocking is something which is not in the favor of crocodile uska koi tareef karne wala jaisa nahi hai समझा नाउ द नेक्स्ट वन दिस इज अगेन अ पी आर टाइप क्वेश्चन बट आई थॉट ऑफ आंसरिंग इट सो दैट यू गाइज गेट ऑल द क्वेश्चन आंसर्स डिस्क्राइब अ क्रॉकोडाइल टू योर ओन वर्ड्स यू हैव टू डिस्क्राइब यू हैव टू गिव डिस्क्रिप्शन अबाउट द क्रॉकोडाइल एंड देन यू हैव टू से वट यू हैव टू से विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग वर्ड्स and phrases in the poem will you use in realistic description that if you have to further describe a crocodile which of these words will you use for the description of crocodile put a tick mark against the one which you find a crocodile might have okay so you can use like i'll use the following words i can use little because crocodiles are little i can use shining tail because yeah crocodiles do have shining tail i can use golden scale because humne jo photo dekhi usme you can see the structure right the golden scale is perfect cheerful is not perfect because we also know crocodiles are never cheerful they are always around it grin is also i won't use because grin hum log ne meaning dekha grin is to smile broadly and you know we have never seen a crocodile smiling broadly so grin is not a word which i'll use claws claws is yeah claws we saw a curved pointed nail and we saw that it has on crocodile so yeah claws is a word which we will use gently smiling is again not the word which we will use for crocodile and jaws is something which we will use right okay this is the second part that we have written the words and phrases which we think now the first part is describe a crocodile in your own words we have to describe crocodile in our own words now let us see uh yeah we can see simple sentence about them that crocodiles are usually seen in lakes creeks and canals okay they have tough skin which is covered with scales we saw in the structure right they had the skin was tough it was it had pattern on it they were rough skin they vary in sizes as one can find little and big crocodile right there are baby crocodile there are normal crocodile there are big crocodiles so they may vary in size they have strong claws and big jaws one can find them basking under the sun near a river and throwing water on their shining tail understood now let us see further note that most of the times well known works are parodied because people can enjoy the parody better than what was them in the original try to find out more example of parodies in english or other language okay so they are trying that this is like a kind of parody jo humne dekhi the original poem was on b but the parody was on crocodile so they are saying that most of the time people enjoy parody more than the original one so you have to find you have to find out certain parodies okay 
A parody always follows the style and pattern of the original work. As I said, imitation of the work. Imitation is like following the same pattern. It is written with an aim to create a comic effect. As I said, a humor effect. The original work may be a poem or a prose in any other form of art. The works of manual English writers have been parodied in English. Some examples are as follows. So I'll give you two, three examples. Baki ka you all find out. You find out what was the original poem. Usme se uska parody kya bana hai. And then this is your homework. You have to find out which one was the original poem and what is the parody of it. Fine. So yeah, I guess most of the questions are being covered by me, right? In of the workshops. So yeah, that was it for today's session. That was it for today's session. I hope you have understood the session. And you, if you have any doubts, you can mail me. If you have any doubts, and then you can write it down, and then we can clear it in the next session. Okay? That was it for today's session. I hope you have understood the session, and we'll continue in the next one. Till then, bye bye, and take care. Bye.